So, is it safe to drink the water from my motorhome tank? to my secret motorhome lab. Now one of the things that we're often asked is, is it safe to drink the water out of the motorhome tank? Well we're going to try and answer that question today, but uh, one thing to remember is that every motorhome tank will be different and uh, you're going to have to carry out your own test to satisfy yourself if your water is safe to drink. But we're going to try and establish if our water is safe to drink. Now, I'm not a qualified or licensed scientist. However, I do have several GCSEs in unrelated subjects, a cycling proficiency test, and a certificate for coming third in an egg and spoon race. And of course, I am the doctor of love. Now, you can buy all sorts of tests for checking the uh, drinkability of water. And the comprehensive ones include all sorts of things about uh, lead and fertilisers, that sort of thing. And I don't think we're worried about any of that in terms of motorhome tanks. If any of that is in the water supply that you put into the tank, then obviously it's going to transfer into the taps. But assuming the water that you've used to fill your motorhome tank is clean, then I think what we're really concerned about is a bacterial sort of contamination of the tank, sort of thing that's going to give you an upset tummy. Now we don't really know the history of our motorhome tank. The motorhome is 30 years old and of course all sorts of things could have been happening to the tank during that time. We don't know how well it was looked after, how regularly it was cleaned. So ours is probably a sort of worst case scenario. Now, every time before we go camping, I do put a couple of sterilisation tablets into the tank, but I usually fill the tank with the garden hose, and while we're camping, I usually top up using this plastic bottle. So what I'm going to do now is fill the tank with a few bottles full and leave it overnight to fester a bit. Well, it's pretty much 24 hours later, so what we're going to do now is carry out the test on our water. Now I've got this uh, test kit here. This is primarily designed for water coolers, but it should work on our water to test for the bacteria because uh, it's pretty much just water out of a plastic container that we've stored for a while and then dispense through a tap, exactly the same as a water cooler. Now you can get these test kits almost anywhere. I got mine from eBay, which as you know is the preferred source for quality laboratory supplies. Now as you can see, the test kit consists of this tube which is filled with, or not filled with, but has a small amount of a special powder inside. Now this powder is specially formulated from the dried tears of angels and ground up dragon's teeth. And when mixed with the water, uh, after a while it will change colour as whichever force, good or evil, uh, wins out over the bacteria that lives inside and raises their victory flags. Um, and of course, the more bacteria there is, the more likely the evil side will win and the less bacteria there is, the more likely the good side will win. Now I've run a small amount of water through the tap already just to get rid of any water that might have been standing in the pipes uh, since we were last camping because that's bound to be a little bit manky. So the first thing to do is to fill our sample pot up with some water. We 
need to take the cap carefully off the uh, tube, making sure we don't spill any of the magical powder. Then we have to fill the tube with the water to the five mil line. Well, uh, that's around about there. But to do it precisely, I'm going to use this sterile syringe. Just to make doubly sure I'm not transferring anything from any of these bits and pieces into my water. And this actually is a 5mm syringe, so I can measure it perfectly. Then we have to put the cap back on and shake it vigorously for 20 seconds. Now the purpose of shaking it is of course to wake up the spirits of the angels and dragons from their slumber because they've been in this powder form for an unknown period of time really. I wasn't counting, did you think that's 20 seconds? The next thing is to store it in a relatively warm place for 48 hours. So I'm going to put it back in its little bag and put it in the airing cupboard in the house for a couple of days. Hope Nikki doesn't find it and throw it away. There we go. I've tucked it in there. Look, she'll never know. Ah, well, it's 48 hours later now. So we should be able to get our test results. At least the stuff is still where we left it. And here we go. Well, as you can see, if we get a purple colour, then it's negative. So effectively the water is uh, safe to drink. If it had gone a sort of a, a manky cat poo yellow colour, then uh, it wouldn't be safe to drink. And look, we've got a, uh, a lovely, happy purple colour. And that, of course, means that there were no bacteria present to defeat the spirits of the angels in the powder of the test kit. Isn't that splendid news? So that means really that there's absolutely no reason not to drink our lovely water from the tap in the motorhome straight out of the tank. What's that, Mr. Safety Owl? You don't think I should? But the tests proved it was okay. Ah, you worry too much. Bottoms up. If you enjoyed it, press like, subscribe if you want to see some more, and ring the bell to be notified when we upload something new.